Welcome once again to another instalment of my Source Vintage YouTube channel. It's been a while, I'm sorry, but I've had so much going on. But I'm back, and this instalment is going to be all about the best places to find antiques and vintage in York. I get asked quite frequently about where to find antiques and vintage in York. So I thought as a local, I would let you into my secret places. And next time you're in York, you can give them a go. So this is going to be all about my top five in no particular order. There's no favourite in this top five. They're all equally as good. So here we go. Let's get started. Number five is Gate 56. Gate 56 is a fairly new kid on the block, really. Quite a quirky little shop full of vintage antique homewares. Anything from giant 10 pin bowling pins to giant tennis rackets, traffic lights that you can put in your lounge, all sorts of quirky bits. So if you're looking for something, well, if you're looking for a one-off, a complete one-off for your house, then this is the place to head to. They also have a few smaller cabinets that have a few silvery bits in and sort of smaller items. So well worth a visit. I always get something. I'll put all the links for all of these shops below. So yeah, that's Gate 56, one of my faves, number five. Number four is Devil's Elbows Antiques. Another fairly new addition to the York Antiques and Vintage scene, actually. Another beautiful shop painted bright red so you can't miss it they sell everything from textiles vintage interiors homewares and books i always find something very very interesting in there it's become quite a popular shop in the scene so well worth a visit if you're in york devil's elbow antiques and go check it out number three is the Verdigree House. Yet another new addition to the York antique vintage scene. Again, they specialise in antique vintage homewares. I'd say it's probably the most beautiful shop in York. The way it's been done out is just quite incredible. Only a very small shop, but rammed full of absolute treasures. It's that country house vibe, amazing stuff. He does different themes in the windows each month. You won't miss it. It's got a golden door, a beautiful shop, rammed full of quality stuff. So well worth checking out if you're in York. And it's a cool area for independent cafes and restaurants. So make a day of it. Number two is the Red House Antique Centre. Again, this is another bright red building. Um, so you can't miss it. Situated very near York Minster. This is set out over three floors. Um, it has, I think, 70-odd dealers in there. And they deal in anything from small bits of furniture to jewellery to miniature pieces, curios. You name it, they've got it. Railway Arna's another one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's rammed full of, I think, some of the finest bits and pieces in York. I go there probably seven days a week. In fact, I'm surprised they're not charging me rent yet. Well worth a visit if you're in York. I always come away with something. And it's owned by popular TV personality, Tim Hogarth, great guy. If you go there on a Tuesday, then you will meet the man himself. And he also buys a few bits and pieces. So well worth checking out the Red House Antique Centre right near the Minster. You can, that can, in fact, that can be your first stop on the way from the, the train station. Number one, if you find yourself in York on a Saturday morning, and I'm talking from about half six, seven o'clock in the morning, head up to York Racecourse because they have probably, no, in fact, I'm going to, I'm going to stick my neck out here and say they have the best car boot sale in the country. It's a mixture of your regular sellers just trying to get rid of stuff to antique dealers so it's like a car boot sale slash antique fair it is quite incredible i always come away with bits and pieces you never know what you're going to find some days depending on the weather it can be small if it's dry then you're going to have to give yourself a good four or five hours to go around because it takes over two enormous fields so that is york car boot sale at the race course saturday mornings so yeah that's number one in fact i'm going to add a cheeky little bonus one for you um, because it's not a shop it's an antique fair which is on quarterly in york but it's well worth a visit it's becoming quite a popular date in the antiques diary so i'm going to add this to this list even though it's not a regular 
event. Um, it is quarterly, so you can always plan your trip to York with that in mind as well. And it's normally on a Sunday, so you can do your boot sale on the Saturday. You can do the antique shops as well, and then hit this one up on the Sunday. But it's York Antique and Vintage Fair at York Racecourse. I'll put all the links for their socials below. Keep an eye on them to find out the dates. I always get loads of stuff. And that is my top five places to check out for antique and vintage buying in York. So plan your trip around those. Make a day of it. Make a weekend of it. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, this little insight from a York resident into the scene. If you enjoy my videos, please hit the subscribe button. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I also write a blog on Mondays. Every Monday over on my website, www.source-vintage.co.uk. I'll put all the links again below. I write about interesting finds, places I've visited, the antiques trade in general, I have the odd interview with uh, a celebrity antique dealer. So if that's your cup of tea, then go check that out as well. And whilst you're at my website, you will see that I also have my own shop where I sell some interesting little pieces. So whilst you're there, go check it out. You might find something that you like. And yeah, hit me up on the socials as well. Instagram, Facebook. Thanks for watching. And until next time, stay safe, keep buying those antiques and keep spreading that source vintage love.